Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Louise and this is Louise's Lifestyle. Thank you for joining me. So, I'm doing an update today on the jackfruit. Um, I bought some seeds last month from a Bangladeshi grocers uh, where you can buy them loose because they use them uh, in cooking. And I had six, which um, unfortunately not all germinated, but these are the two that did. Um, it's been here in this propagator. Um, I've taken the lid off the propagator, but the heat's still on in there uh, under grow lights for the past month. I'll just uh, lean back a bit because it's a bit hard bending down, so I'll just balance that on my knee. So these are the two uh, that emerged. The taller of the two is, I've measured that this morning, and it's five inches in height from the base of stem to the leaf. And um, this one's got a nice, uh, big, healthy leaf on it underneath. You can see these tiny little bristles. And there are bristles all over the stem. There's another leaf, hopefully, will emerge and grow. This second one, what happened with this, this had a bit of a rougher start. Popped up and then... This bit here, if I can just balance that on my knee, this bit here um, had a little leaf on it. So this was the main stem and it started to shrivel up and the leaf fell off. The moment the leaf fell up, this point, you know, this stem emerged and has produced these two nice healthy leaves. However, recently the area where the leaf fell off started to shrivel and turn black. Um, so not not a brown colour, you know, when you get dye back and it just goes dry. This became sort of like, I suppose, you know, the there's moisture around it caused it to turn like into a, a fluffy white mass of fungus. So I put a cinnamon powder on that and around the base hopefully kill off any fungus and, you know, to stop it from spreading to this healthy growth here. So, I've, as I say, I've grown um, these in the past and never seem to get them past the 12 inches uh, mark. So it's only five inches now, so probably about that height before they seem to stall. And I'll have them on a, a sunny windowsill uh, in a draft-free area, reasonably warm, um, and, you know, feeding it and, and watering when required, uh, but never seem to progress a lot further than 12 inches. And then uh, after a year of not doing anything, I tend to chuck them out. This year, I thought I'd try something different. Um, I thought I'd keep it in the grow tent um, on the propagator. Uh, so it's getting bottom heat and I'm keeping the soil a bit more moist. So I'm not allowing the soil to dry out as much as I did when um, I've grown them previously. So the soil is moist. I'm just using a peat-based compost. I've added slightly made it slightly acidic using a, um, a mix of uh, ericaceous in there as well. So it's peat based, perlite and a, a dash of um, ericaceous after plant in there as well. And um, keeping it a, a little bit wetter than I would normally, but there are drainage holes in the bottom, so it's not sitting in water, but you can see that there is moisture in there and the roots seem to be um, liking that, you know, I can see that the roots are spreading out. Now I've got two in this pot, uh, but I'm not going to separate them, I'm just going to keep them together, because I find when I've separated plants, tend not to do as well, seem to do better together. So I'll keep them in this pot for as long as possible. Um, when this, I see that the roots are, are really sort of you know, getting a bit too crowded, then I will uh, repot it. But the, yeah, so this is what I'm doing differently. I'm going to keep it in this environment here and um, for as long as possible. And that, you know, as I say, it's a bit of an experiment. See if it does any better. 
and uh, if anyone else is growing jackfruit uh, in indoors that is you know uh, in a part in the northern hemisphere and they've got you've got yours to grow successfully you know um, nice healthy sapling please add your comments in the comment box below and um, give me some tips on what I should be doing um, to get to keep this growing continuously so thanks very much for watching everyone take care bye bye